So this year, especially, especially for Paris Plus, you are bringing some homage to Marc Rothko and this Rothko. Um, yes, I think this Rothko is going to be there too. So, uh, I hope so. There's going to be another Rothko too. Ah, two? Mm, yes. But... Um, what is special about this one first? Well, Rothko only made special paintings. Mm. Um, and... Um, This is an amazing work on paper that uh, was made in 1968. Yes, um, Rothko, it, doesn't, it doesn't look like on paper. Well, Rothko made these paintings on paper. He had had a surgery hmm. and could not really stand and paint. And so he, for a year, had to work at a table. That's why in 1968, there's a whole series of works on paper. And there are paintings on paper, and they were always meant to be mounted on canvas or on board to create a small painting. This was um, an experiment he began in the uh, late 50s and then returned to, um, anyway, this is an amazing, obviously. But, this but is, just a canvas, the base is a canvas? The base underneath the paper is canvas, yeah. Ah, okay, marouflé, as we say in yes, French. Yes, exactly. Okay. But um, obviously the main attraction is the Louis Vuitton exhibition. Of this course, is, I'm going to speak about it. Yes, this is going to be... Such an event, huh? Awesome. 110 works. I, I have work. to say the greatest, the greatest Rothko show ever, and that is not to say anything against the other great Rothko shows of that course. have happened. Um, the Guggenheim in 1980... Um, the National Gallery, so many amazing um, Rothko exhibitions have happened over the years. Um, but, you know, there has been something here, a possibility to do something that it's really impossible to do anywhere else. Here's why. This, most of these shows have to travel in order to be feasible. Mm. Um, and that means you're asking someone for their Rothko for a year and a half for two years. The at LV Foundation, they don't have to do that. They are asking for six months. And um, so they got a lot of things that, that other exhibitions could not get. And Christopher is helping too. Yes, so Christopher And Suzanne Rothko, is very good. Suzanne, of course, is genius. And, of course. And um, is one of the greats, one of the last greats you know, from her generation, incredible kind of curator that, you know, it's hard to, hard, hard to find anymore. Someone like, and, uh, you know, and so much expertise on so many uh, topics. Christopher um, is also an incredible expert on his father's work. Um, he's really dedicated the last 20 years to um, his, his father's legacy. And, um, you know, has so much to say, has such a sensitive understanding of the process of the history. And um, so you are doing a special booth, an so, homage to Roscoe. So why yes. do you make it in Paris? Just because of Vuitton show or yes. because it's a big effort? You believe in the French art market? Absolutely. I mean, we all know that Paris is, um, you know, where so much excitement is right now. But you don't settle down in Paris. I'm trying. Really? Is that a school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we had a little setback, real estate wise, but we're still on the hunt. Ah. So uh, soon enough, we'll, we'll be there. But um, this exhibition is the reason for our, um, is the reason for our booth. Mm -hmm. We have represented the Rothko family since 1978, um, when Christopher and I were both, hold on, uh, 15. And, um, you know, just we've obviously played a, you know, as much of a, a role as we could helping pull the exhibition together. And I just felt like it was so many years in the making that I just... I asked, started to ask some artists, you know, w would you do, would you do that? And I thought I was going to get a no, that doesn't feel, it doesn't feel good. But 
I got fantastic responses. And so we went out to all the artists and... And what was the most surprising or the more exciting result? Mm. Oh gosh, can't really choose. Uh, okay, can't choose just, that. just... I can't choose that. From they're, your babies? All, uh, no, no, no. But no, like uh, two or three? Um, just, uh, you know, some amazing, you know, astonishing things. Um, Adam Pendleton has started to use color already, but uh, it's just beginning and his use of red in this painting is, you know, incredible. Um, Huang Dodin spent the last, I think, three months, four months making this painting. Mm. It's one of the biggest paintings he's ever made. Um, you know, Tara Dom and, and Arlene Shekhe and um, incredible, you know, artists who, you know, may not, not be abstract artists. You know, so many artists are moved by, you know, Rothko's project to explore the kind of depths of the soul and to, you know, abandon all the tools of illustration, all the tools of representation to reach for um, the ephemeral and the immaterial. And the success with which he did that um, is amazing inspiration to all contemporary artists. So that's it. But even when you look at it, you stare at it very closely, it's different colors. That's crazy. Bon, merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. You need to speak French now. I know I have to.